everybody and welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be a good old Q&A. Yay. I felt like I haven't done one of these in a while and then I looked on my YouTube channel and that's true. I haven't done one in a while. So I decided to ask you guys on Twitter if you had any questions that you're dying to know the answers to. And so that's what we're going to jump on into right now. What are your goals for the rest of 2019? Okay, so my big goals for the rest of this year because there's only half a year left. I don't know how 2019 went by like that. But one of my goals is to get a book deal for Project Red, which is a book I've been working on for two and a half years and it's almost to the point of pre-publication. <laughs> Still a while left to go, but guys, this book, it's gonna be so freaking worth it. It's definitely up all of your alleys. Another goal I have is to visit at least one country that I have yet to visit, so is new to me. And then another goal that I have is definitely for Fraser to lose five pounds. Fraser's my dog, if you guys don't know, and he's a little chunky monkey right now. And I like to read 20 books before the end of the year. Ah! Let's see if I could do it, because this has definitely not been a crazy reading year for me. Although, I have been reading a lot lately, and I have some really good books I need to talk to you guys about. Okay, so the book's not up here, but I just finished it, like, a couple weeks ago, and it's called Bloodleaf, and it's so freaking good. It's, like, the fantasy that I've been waiting for, for, like, forever. And, oh, it's so good. It has amazing romance, has a kick-butt main character. She's a princess who needs to use her fists and her mind, and we love, we love powerful girls like that. But it's just so so freaking good and I'm so grateful that HMH sent me this book like way back when because once I read it I knew it was gonna be a staple in my life. And I'm currently reading My Dark Vanessa which is different. Really good and really disturbing. Whew. Okay, so the next question is, do I work out regularly? And that answer is semi. I used to work out every day and, well, I would take break days because my legs would not like me if I kept them sore 24-7. But I used to work out regularly like five days a week and that was from January through March and then I moved. I haven't really gotten into a consistent workout routine since I moved but it's fine because I'm gonna re-get back on into it and then I'm gonna make a video about my workout routine and what my diet is and what I do to stay in shape because it's like the perfect routine for somebody who doesn't really like working out and just wants to see results. But always remember, every body is beautiful, no matter what shape or size. If you weren't a YouTuber or an author, what career do you think you would be doing? Okay, so I think I definitely would have to go into something that is in the realm of marketing. I'm obsessed with marketing and management and that may be because my mom was a marketing and management professor at Northwestern way back in the day and I kind of inherited some of her marketing traits and I'm very grateful for that because it comes in handy nowadays when I need to promote myself and my books. Grateful for that and I think that I would be able to use that knowledge to then better other companies and other products if that were my main job. So yeah, maybe a marketer. Then maybe I will move up to marketing executive and COO or CEO position. I don't even know. All I know is that I'm pretty good at it. So I once wanted to be an astronomer, but you kind of have to be good at math to be an astronomer. And by kind of, I mean, you have to be. I'm not good at math. How is Project Red going? Guys, it's going so well. I'm about to submit it to my agents next week. This book is the project of my heart and soul and I'm ready for you guys to read it soon as in hopefully in the next year. I really hope that a publisher picks it up but if a publisher doesn't pick it up I will definitely self-publish it because this is the book that you guys have been waiting for from me for years and it's finally almost here. How are Fraser and Fiona? They're thriving. Since we moved into this new house, they have a huge backyard and they've never had a backyard before. They've only had like a dog park, a part of the complexes that we lived in. So. It's a new experience for all of us, for the better. It's it's so good. Traveling on budget tips. This is a topic that I'm gonna save for a full video because I have a lot of knowledge to bestow upon you. Are you planning to do videos like you used to? Because I saw that you said that you started reading more and I missed your excitement about books. Girl, I'm getting back to it. Finally. I talked about, you know, what was happening this past year in my life update that you guys can go watch now. And you know, when life throws curveballs at you, you kind of have to go and sidestep them so you don't get hit, but also rebuild what used to be and kind of formulate it for the new you. Hope that makes sense. 
But what I'm saying is that you'll never be who you used to be, but you can be a better version of that. And that's what I'm trying to do now. So yes, I'm reading more. I'm so excited to talk more about books with you guys and about just everything, really. The future looks bright. Haley asks, can you tell us some stories about your old apartment complex? That is another uh, topic that has its own video attributed to it. You guys have heard a little bit about this online if you follow me on Instagram. Pretty much we had to move from our old complex because of certain harassment and it's a whole entire story time that I will be doing soon because uh, I want to get all the facts laid out on the table and it will be a long video and just stay tuned. What's your favorite thing about London? The tube system because it literally will take you anywhere and everywhere as long as you know how to use it. But besides the tube, uh, I just love London. Uh, a lot of my friends are there and so I always have something to do and somebody to do it with and it's just... Uh, it's my happy place. It makes me so happy to go there. So it's wonderful that I'm able to kind of split my time between my happy place here in the States and my happy place there in the UK. How do you find time to write in a busy schedule? Honestly, uh, ever since like finishing up the Andromeda Saga, my schedule has opened up tenfold and it's been so wonderful being able to work on other creative things that have been put on hold because I was on deadline. So like YouTube and my mental health, which should have been put on hold because that's that's number one priority. It's sorta of, guys. We're getting there. It's it's solid right now. My schedule has really freed up and because of that I'm finally able to concentrate more on those things that were put on hold and bring them more to the forefront of my life and figure out a new way to schedule them into it in a natural way that doesn't make it feel like it's a chore, but more like something that I want to do. Like YouTube. It took me a while to fall back in love with it, but now I'm back in love and it's good. Did you continue with online college? No. I remember doing my taxes for like 2017 and just looking at how much money online school was costing me and I was like, not worth it. So I took a break from it and I would go back to university when it's the right time. And that's not right now and that's fine. You don't have to have a college degree to do what you love and still excel in life. Unless what you want to do in life is like really techy or sciencey or mathy. Pretty much if you want to be an astro engineer or something, is that even a job? I don't know. Like if you want to be an astronaut, you have to get a degree. They're not going to allow you to go up into space without knowing anything. But if you're creative like me, you know, you don't necessarily have to have a degree stamped on your forehead in order to write and to create unless you want it then go get it. Favorite band slash singer. Okay, so the thing is, I'm not hugely musically motivated. Like, I'm not a person that just like listens to music during my downtime. I only turn it on when I'm in the car driving somewhere. And even then, it's really toss-up between listening to music or listening to my audiobook. So yeah, I'm pretty much not like a musically inclined person, but that does not mean that I can't jam out to some artists or songs. So like, currently, I love Uriel. Like, she's such a wonderful singer. She has like this beautiful, fantastical vibe to her, and her music's just phenomenal. I would play for you but it's probably uh copyrighted so we're not gonna do that and i also like i guess like a more modern artist like marshmallow is pretty cool he has some good tunes some good jams not gonna play that either because copyright okay guys so i feel like that's a good place to end this q a and let me know what you want me to film next down below i would love to know and don't forget to go follow me on twitter and instagram my username is at sasha allsberg come say hi it's a blast so with that being said thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you next time bye